What's up, everyone? I'm Nick Cato. I'm Walter Bowley. And I'm Maddie Light, aka Whole Family, aka Search on His Phone. But this is random games topics, a little more laid back, so I'm gonna lay back. Oh my god. Are you serious? This is a little more laid down the street in my six. Oh, my. I still want to see that movie. So do I. Straight out of comp. So do I. But this is random game topics, we're talking about random topics. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna have one today. But these two. Yeah, he's working on his. Have some topics. So, while Matt is making sure of his, mm -hmm. what is yours? Well, it's, it's pretty basic. I don't think it'll take us too long. So, Matt, you, you're on the clock. Yeah. But, um,. I would say is that oh, how much do you value like collector's editions of games? Not at all. Oh, fucking I, hate them. You fucking hate them? I used I to like, like that. That's a lot. That, that came out strong. I wasn't ready for that. I'll be real. I'll, I'll explain. Okay. I used to actually. I never liked collector's edition. I never bought them. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. They're a fucking ripoff. A game sixty dollars. You get this fucking oh, here's this collector's edition for two hundred fifty dollars. Comes with this shitty plastic statue that's not even that good. Mm -hmm. And like a DLC and like a fucking art book. Right. Is that worth an extra $170? $190 if what you said. Yeah, $190? Right? Yeah. yeah, like this, if the statues were like amazing quality, mm -hmm. I guess. But they're fucking garbage quality and they break. And there's only one. So do you have any experience with these collector's editions? The only one I thought, this, this is one I realized they were useless. I really wanted the Halo 3 Collector's Edition with uh -huh. the helmet. And that then, thing always mocked me. And one of the days I was like, why the fuck do I want this? Is this worth a hun like the $170 price tag? No. I wanted uh, I wanted the Injustice one. With the Batman With Batman, statue? but then they turned it to fucking Batman, like, losing to fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no, like, if you, see, fun? Yeah, if, you, if you look, if you look, like, Batman's obviously got, like, a batarang or, like, something ready to, He's like, attack He's got an anti-Themyscira batarang on hand. Just yeah, you go. but, like, <laughs> if they, I, but at first they were saying it was gonna be, like, a solo Batman statue, yeah. and then it just turned to that, and I'm like, and at that time I really wanted a Batman statue, I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> but that's my, that's my whole thing with it. You can buy a badass statue for way cheaper than the price of it. Not necessarily, man. Those, if you're talking about like a 12 inch statue or a lot like larger, those are hundreds. Which your Luffy? That would have 40, 60, 60 bucks. See, right but here. a private seller at Comic Con, like you're gonna get probably. And it Matt Goss, sucks. Didn't you and get it at Comic Con? Yeah, yeah. That's bucks. what I'm saying. A private seller. Yeah, I was selling it at 80. No, oh, well, but you talked but I talked him down. But yeah, that's that's my view. Well, yeah, I waited till the very end. I was like, I see you still got the statue, and he's like, yeah. I was like. Yeah, he's like, I was oh, like, right. I got 60 here. I'm like, that's about all I can go. And he's like, all right. And then he's like, he's already like, all right, <laughs> it's fucking broken. Do you like, <laughs> do like uh, well, I don't want to say the person's name on here, because just in case they watch, but me and Chad helped uh, the person move, and he was like, how, how much do you want for it? And we were like, ah, it's like 10 bucks is good each. And he was like, come on, guys. Like, oh, I got 20s here. We were like, god damn, all right. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're like, oh, I got twenty. We we're like, all right. He's well, like, we'll take three. Each. He's like, is one hundred and twenty each good? We we're like, yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> but anyway, Matt, yeah. what's your view of collectors or ripoffs? I don't personally go for them. Like, I don't have any really desire. There's never been a collector's edition that I was like, I must have that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some cool ones. I'm like, oh, that'd be awesome, but I don't want to spend the money. I'm not gonna say they're bad. Because there's people that look... There's collectors who love those kind of things. Like, they like collecting those kind of things. They have sentimental value to them in some ways. And a collector's, of value, a collector's edition of something, if you're, like, you know, a guy who goes and brings stuff to, like, to, pawn, to like sell stuff for a later time, those are going to sell a lot more than a regular thing is. So there's people out there that like that kind of stuff. So I don't hate it at all. Is it a cash grab? Yeah. But what is it? So, but I mean, I don't hate on it. Like I'm, yeah. I'm completely approve of it. Yeah. Let, let me preface this: if that's your thing, that's fine. Do what you do what you want. To me, it's a ripoff. Well, if you like it, that's cool. Like I was the most tempted I'd ever been to buy a collector's edition. I think it was when? with Witcher Three. Yeah, it was with Witcher yeah. Three. I was most tempted. Not I didn't even know how great Blood yeah. was when I wanted to buy it, just because like I've I played Witcher Two a couple years after it came to consoles. It'd been a bit. When I played it, so it was pretty fresh when Witcher Three was announced, 
And so I was very excited. I even played it, not really again, but I went back to it and played it some more. And I was extremely excited for The Witcher 3 just because of how much of a different RPG it is. And then I saw the collector's edition comes with two physical like card games. And I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, there was nothing like that in Witcher 2. And it comes, it, it had a, the normal nonsense stuff. Like, you know, art book. It had a... Um, Play a CD, music CD. It had the, his, like, a legit, like, medallion. Like, his wolf's yeah, medallion. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. It had, but it was, like, made of, like, steel. Like, it was, like, a legit, like, medallion. Well, it was price tag, like, 200 Too much. Too much. Is what it was. But I wanted to do it. And then, you know they have digital collector's editions now? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. <laughs> like... That's dumb. Well, there's a lot of people that do, like, especially with MMOs. Mm -hmm. Like, especially with MMOs. Where they have, like, digital deluxe versions. Yeah. Like, Final Fantasy had one. Mm -hmm. I almost bought it for 60 bucks. See, those are, like, things like there. Like, digital deluxe version of, like, Final Fantasy set 14, A Realm Reborn, mm -hmm. for its expansion. Instead of it being 40, it was going to be 60. And you get a free mount, mm -hmm. an exclusive mount. You get armor and, like, a whole bunch you of You get other collector stuff. stuff that you don't get to hold. It's pretty much saying, hey, get this, and no one else is going to have it, yeah. so spend that money. Right. So that's what they, I mean. You pay for prestige. Yeah, like, like that stuff, And the, but the stuff was cool. Like, I wanted, like, a griffin mount, it was a yeah. flying mount, and it was like, they had uh, Cecil's from Final Fantasy IV, it had his helmet, I wanted to play Dark Knight, I was like, well, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, so, I'm happy, bro. <laughs> cool! <laughs> but, um, so, but, yeah, like there's like those kind of things. Like most of the time, I buy collector's editions for uh, for WoW. I mm -hmm. usually get them because they usually come with a mount and things like that. So those, if it's not too much, we're talking maybe fifteen twenty dollars mm -hmm. is my limit. But if it's like fifty sixty dollars yeah. for some stupid like, shit, the, the one that comes to mind is the Call of Duty ones. The Call of Duty oh like deluxe God. digital the collector's comes, like, edition. The refrigerator. It's like no, no. <laughs> this is this is like the digital collector's edition. It came with. Thankfully, at least the season passed for the game. Um, See, that's what I was going to say. Right, Usually, yeah. they don't yeah. have that. It's like, you want us to buy this collector's edition and the season pass? Okay, and if that's the case, that's fucking bullshit. Did you see... The Batman was doing that. Yeah, I don't know. Really? Did you see Part the most... The collector's edition never came with the, the season the pass. The physical or the digital? I don't know. The collector's edition okay. never the came with the most ridiculous thing I saw was that Dying Light mm -hmm. one. It was more of a joke because no one's actually going to yeah. do it. It was like a million dollars. Oh, okay. But you got like a car, just... a house, like you got it. Like if you did it, they oh. build you like a zombie-proof house. You get like this zombie trip. Well, at least you're giving the you game everything. Money. But I was like, goddamn. But at least they did the equal out of what it would cost, and it was only going to be like six hundred thousand dollars. So you'd be right. getting ripped off of four hundred. Four hundred thousand dollars of clutch. Though. But it's fun. <laughs> so yeah. okay, but there's that. But then you know, but the Call of Duty one, you get the season pass, you get you know. All the camos, of course, for your guns and special like logos you can put on your body armor, of course, and then like special camos that nobody else has, and except for all the other. I thought another one that was really cool that I wanted, but it was like you, you know those ones that you're like, man, that's really awesome, but I don't want to buy it. It's yeah. like a Nickism right there. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, is the 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 um. Fuck, uh, Borderlands 2, but when it came out for 360, they had one. It came with, like, the loot crates. Uh, like, it was a legitimate okay. loot crate. You press it, yeah. and the game, like, comes, like, out, like, pops up, and, like, it has, like, the, the like, art book and all that shit. <laughs> like, I thought that was just, like, a cool little gimmick. Yeah, they, uh, Call of Duty came with, like, a care package one time. Yeah, that's fucking, yeah. That, like, that's cool. So, before Matt's mm -hmm. topic, because I don't have one, I'm just going to throw out two little random things I saw. Fucking hate Nintendo for their Amiibo thing, because I watched this guy's video. Uh-huh. He's like, in 24 hours in Australia, can I find all the Amiibos? It's just him walking in the shops. He found 53 of 57 of them. Just in the shops. They're all the rarest ones in the shops. So, send them to the fucking United States, not well, down under. Specifically, you know, you Inverness, check Walmart Florida. and GameStop in Ocala. Well, you've so. got to understand that, no, it is. I'm sorry, even over Japan, because, let's face it, America's, like, yes. 20 times bigger than Japan. America is the number one gaming world now. I know. Send like, it to even us. Though Japan not comes that. up with that shit. Like that just gotta show you how much America runs off Duncan. No, <laughs> runs off electronics. Who doesn't? Like, <laughs> Starbucks. But then my last little thing. God, there's no internet. <laughs> there's no internet at work. Uh -huh. That's fine for Starbucks. But so I played a shit ton of Solitaire. 
preloaded the one that comes with your computer. Mm -hmm. The biggest fucking bullshit game ever. I played probably like 700 matches. Uh -huh. Didn't win a single goddamn one. You considered one. you might not be good at all. No, I considered that. <laughs> and then just to test it, because I had so much time, I did like 40 rounds where I did nothing but hints. Mm -hmm. Never won. Where the my, hints my have to let you win. doesn't lose in solitaire. Three, regular three card solitaire. You can, That's impossible. There's always yeah, you can that. change. Like, he doesn't do three like cards. How James, like how oh, James. Oh, one nice. card solitaire. Three cards, ridiculous yard. Yeah. But James was bragging, and I looked at his phone, he had his the always win thing on. But I didn't win a goddamn game. I played like 600 matches. I was so, so it did its job. fucking pissed. You played the game. And some of the times I got real close, and I didn't win. I was like, but it's okay. Anyway, that's my random topic. That's the hardest game of all time. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Preload, Solitaire, <laughs> Microsoft. All right. This isn't the one I saw, but it's close to it. All right. This one I'm completely ripping off someone from Reddit. He made up the article, but I'm sure plenty of people talked about it. Let's give him a shout-out. All What's right. R. Prandy? R. Prandy. Welcome to Reddit. <laughs> right down there. Like, right here. Thanks. I love right. that. Love board. Yeah. R. Prandy. There you go. Thank you for your topic. <laughs> All right. How do you feel about narrative or lore that players need to actively look for? Hence, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, things like that. Pretty much Bloodborne, Dark Souls. I mean, there's, there's others. But yeah. This depends. For me, because I'm mm -hmm. sure, uh, as you said, it's I'll more let you guys well, let me let me start with, like, besides the obvious candidate of Dark Souls and Bloodborne for being that, I think one that gets vastly, like, under-talked about for doing that is Portal. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know about really the hidden it. lore that's in Portal, but it is there. I don't like And it is, like... Respect it. Scary deep in the game. Really? Like... For instance, GLaDOS, the you know smart talking AI yeah. that guides you through the facility, is like they kind of reference through tons and tons of hints that GLaDOS was once human who got her consciousness ripped out and forced into a machine. And you can see these things by like GLaDOS's design yeah. it looks like a bound woman. Yeah. Like the way she's held. And then you can find things of like um, hints pointing to like who GLaDOS was before. You can hear uh, you can see hints of the guy who did this track before you did. Yeah, but is that like canon? Is that like definitely true, or is that or are we going into more like game theories? There's hints that point towards it. Is so all I can say. It's more I can't. Like there's there is nothing in the game that says Gladys was human. Okay. But they hint at it. That's kind of going in a different thing. I'm yeah. looking more towards like. But but I'm saying that they hint at that specifically. Here's it's not like okay. yeah like. My whole thing, it depends. Like, mm -hmm. games like Dark Souls and stuff, if it's in the game, mm -hmm. where you just like read stuff up, that's cool. That's fine. But if you're like Destiny, where I have to like get off of my game and go online on and like computer cards. and read cards and read the lore, fuck that. If it's in game, that's awesome. If it's not in your game, I don't want to fucking do yeah. see. Well, see, like the biggest thing for me, like you guys think Bloodborne, Dark Souls. Well, no, actually, the game I just played until dawn. That game wants you to look for it because you have to find all the evidence to the 1955 miners, which is a part of the game to who the mystery man is, and about the twin's death, which was at the very beginning of the mm -hmm. game, that's the whole premise of the story. You have to find all of that, and if there's a very end of this part, plus you also find these to totems that go with, like, because it was on an Indian burial ground. Who of course. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, you had to find those all, but when you do it, it puts the whole entire story together. In fact, like, as you collect pieces of it, uh -huh. you can see clips of the ending, like, the whole story of everything that mm -hmm. happened. I didn't do it yet. But so, like, that is one of those series where it's like, you don't have to look for, you don't have to do it, but if you want to know everything about this game, you're going to have to go back and play all this and look for it all. You know, like that kind of reminds me of what you just said, is um, in Assassin's Creed 2, when you find like the memory segments, yeah. you see like Adam and Eve running through Eden. Yeah, that's like, like pretty much what yeah. it is. Like those are those oh, kinds boy. of things where you gotta look for those. Back like, when Assassin's Creed was respected. Up that series. <laughs> and of course, like there's also a, like I personally, when I play Dark Souls, I'm like you with games. I don't care about the fucking lore. I'm gonna say it right now. But Dark Souls, I, I, I well, I don't care about it to look for it myself mm -hmm. and ex understand it. Like I got better things I want to do, like <laughs> leveling up my guy or yeah. doing something like that. But I always watch a guy. So every time I play it, like I watch a guy kind of go over it, and there's a guy named Epic Name Bro, I think mm -hmm. it is. Walt or, or Sean told me about. Yeah. 
he like explains the lore to you mm -hmm. on there, and that's I usually listen to him, and he kind of tells him, you about it. He's a great one, and another YouTuber that's great for it, especially for Bloodborne. If you're curious about that, Vati Vidya is his name. I'll spell it out for you if you care to after the podcast. Mm -hmm. But like, one, he's got like the most like seductive YouTube voice you've ever heard. Somebody like describes like the Bloodborne. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> like you're listening to it. It's like uh, it's like some suave British gentleman just brought you a drink. Like the way he talks. <laughs> It would be but, a sane to drop a spill? Yes, like that. <laughs> it would be a sane to drop a spill. <laughs> like, like, that's how he fucking talks. Like the movie Honest Trailer Guy. <laughs> sort of, but not that's an epic voice, voice, just like a, a smooth voice. But he does that, he does Bloodborne, Dark Souls, the Souls games, mm -hmm. and he's really great at it. Especially with, like, his own interpretation of it. Like, the things that aren't facts, how does he do it? Yeah. But another version of that, what you're talking about, is something like in The Witcher 3. Where the story is presented to you as a story, but finding out more about the world is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. Like, finding more about the, the tension of nations between, you know, Novigrad and Temeria, or like, finding out, you know, where did the persecution of the elves and the dwarves begin, or, um... You know what you should do, then? You should read the Witcher books. I have. I've read the first one. Oh. Because yeah. that, that's the way well, I like Witcher, expanding lore. Mm -hmm. Witcher original not has nothing books. to do with Geralt, really. No, the first book, Geralt's not in the first half. Yeah. It's mostly, but he's in, he's in the later part. Oh, but I thought it was like more about Tam, or Tamriel. <laughs> well, speaking of games, that that's another game. Well, that's another, that's another Fallout one. is yeah. another one, yeah. where they have tons of those aimless books you can read. Yeah, about like, like, the Lusty Argonian Maid? They made a reference to that in uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, it is? <laughs> oh, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, he took a picture, but that's the thing. That's the other thing I like I about expanding. Talking about, but Porn yeah. book that's in um, Elder Scrolls, every single Elder Scrolls lust, game. The Lusty Argonian It's just this Lusty Argonian maid whose master comes home and he needs her to polish his long spear. <laughs> <laughs> Only you, Scarlet. Only you, Elder Scrolls. But I like whenever they expand in books. Mm -hmm. Like, Mass Effect has, like, books now. I heard mm -hmm. they're pretty good. Halo books are pretty good and all that stuff. So that's really cool. Oh, Halo? If you if you want to know about Master Chief, oh, you, you want to see him as John the Spartan, read the books because he is a character in that mm -hmm. in that. And Four shows kind of like went on that win. The books show why all the other Spartans are mm -hmm. fun. But they're fake. I think one of my favorite gaming missions of all time was in The Witcher Three, and I'm going to go into tiny spoiler territory, so mute if you want. All right, go. All right. My, when my put my hand down up again. Yeah. This is why we need This is technology. minor stuff. This is minor stuff. Like if you haven't got to this part, I'm not going to ruin too much for you. But basically, it's all about the wild hunt, right? The Witcher Three wild hunt. And you don't have to do that. We'll put our hand up. <laughs> you look like you got a question. I said I was going to put my hand up. <laughs> yeah. But the, the, so obviously, it's about the wild hunt. And from the beginning of the game, you know that the wild hunt are not from this world. They're from somewhere else. And they're coming over and doing things. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Right. And there's one mission in The Witcher 3 where you go to the world of the Wild Hunt. Like, where they're from. Is it and the futuristic? No. And the, kind oh, of. Kind of. And the path to get there, you go through multiple parallel realities. That's cool. Like, different dimensions where life took a totally different turn. And, my God, did that make me want to know what the fuck was going on in, like, The Witcher. Because it just opened up a whole new realm of possibilities. Like, you go to this world that the guy who's like your tour guide, like he's bringing you through these places, he tells you I that... I hated him so much. But he was clutch at the same time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was the clutch asshole. But, um, he brings you to this world that's a giant desert. And he asks Geralt to look at the cliffs surrounding the desert, and he says, what do you say? And Geralt says it kind of looks like a riverbed. And he says, or a great ocean. This was once a great ocean that was populated by, like, the population lived in the ocean. Like, and it was all about that, and... And then Geralt still kills everything that he fights in, like, all these alternate realities. And even Ciri talks about the alternate reality she goes to where people were flying their steeds in the sky and they kept putting metal to their ears. Like, so... Bones. Maybe. I think it was a reference to CD Projekt Red's next game, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Or 2177. That'd or something. Be cool. But... I think it was a reference to that, because they're working on that right now. But obviously that game's going to be amazing. <laughs> Same universe? But, uh... Maybe. Like, the way... The one thing I'd say about the, the their <laughs> world... Their world picture, like, Athens. That's, like, what I got from it. Like Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, their world. Yeah. <laughs> and, naked, and naked elf girls get painted. Yeah. Well, yeah. all right. But, like, it's just, much. like, that, that opened up the Witcher possibilities for lore of games that could be in the same 
multiverse as the Witcher, but not even be like about Geralt because of that possibility. And like that was that like, was the, awesome. That was such a cool mission. Like, like he was in a reality where you can't breathe the air that's on the ground. Like you had to stay above. Or the sun that was so hot that you had if you stayed in the sun, yeah. like burn you to death. Yeah, like. It was so cool. And, like, you went to the world of the Wild Hunt, and it was like, oh, I'm coming to you, bitches. It's like they were trying to say we could do No Man's Sky, but better. <laughs> we don't even know well, about that yet. Let's, let's they did, like, five. Slow roll. Slow roll. <laughs> they did, like, five as opposed to trillions or something. Oh, <laughs> or quintillion. Or was it quintillion or something? Uh, it's it's yeah. enough to give me it's a not Superman and, lifting. Okay. And, okay, and in one of those worlds, there was just one point in one of those worlds that was so cool. You're just walking through, and you just hear the most terrifying roar you've ever heard in your life. Velociraptors. No, just a roar, just something that shakes the earth. And you know, you don't see what it, you don't see what did it, but it was there somewhere. It was Velociraptors. <laughs> no, it was like an earth moving, like. <sighs> and girls. Kratos yelling. Let's get the fuck out of here. Kratos yelling. That's Kratos, yeah. He's like, there's all you these dead it? titans around here. It's like you deny. It's like, oh, that's the one guy. Carol will be like, fuck. <laughs> I know, he's, yeah. he says fuck whenever dragons are around. He's yeah, like, I know. I'm not gonna fuck with that. Oh, no, no, yeah, and Witcher 2 is like, Witcher, can you help me? I've got a dragon problem. Then move. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, then move. You're done. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Chris would be like, it's alive! <laughs> I hate it, it's alive! <laughs> but. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't want to fight Kratos. I'm not gonna take that. So that's the Earth Shattering. <laughs> yeah. God, but with Siri. Siri does have, like, godlike powers. No, okay. Then again, Kratos does that. specialize in killing things with godlike powers. <laughs> so that's, like, his job title. He's like, another one in, then oh. he'll fight, like, a random oh. guy. I can't do it. Let me guess. You've got godlike powers also. He's like, ah. It's like, and, then he, and then he pulls the Obi-Wan, he's like, killing godlike powers is our speciality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm so true. Sentinel was our speciality. He was clutching it. And then, um, or yeah, like the thing he said, like, fuck, it's like he's investigating a nest, and he's like, a royal wyvern, fuck, <laughs> so when it comes down to attack him. <laughs> See, but I did kill it. He, Kratos would have the same thing, he'd be like, a royal, a royal wyvern, be like, fuck, <laughs> you're dead. Well, he, I mean, he would, like, yeah. rip it to fucking pieces, like, and jump on it, eat a still writhing body. <laughs> but. Goddamn savage. Did, did, that, <laughs> did that satisfy your... What are your War? thoughts on it? Oh, I said if it's in the game and stuff, it's really cool because it adds like another <laughs> depth to the game. But when it gets to like getting out of it for the game, or like books are different because they're not based on the game, they're just like expanding it. But like Destiny, where you have to go online and not play your game to read about it, about the game, it's going too far. What I, Put it in the game. Like what I do like is like a game doesn't have to waste time giving you the little details of a story like exposition. Yeah. Like in Witcher 3, like why do they call these ones the NL elves, but these ones the Ed E elves. Mm -hmm. Look at you'll find it if you care to look for it. But if you don't, it's fine. Exactly. Like, there's another. Yeah, like, you know, another these thing. guys are taller and these guys are short. Like, like <laughs> I feel like honestly, the game that does the best as far as like people all say like, oh, World of Warcraft's not great because it doesn't have story driven MMO, all that stuff. But you have no idea <laughs> how much. Fucking shit is in well, WoW. When but, the movie I'm killing, comes out. but I'm killing boars. When the movie comes out, there's a purpose. <laughs> Will. Boars weren't there. They, there's god shit going on in this world. Like, boar gods? <laughs> Probably. Can I farm the boar gods? Let me just tell you this. I'll go as far as this shit. The orcs aren't from Azeroth. They're from... Harothazaz? No. Oh. They're from Draenor. And they are, they yeah, weren't. The warlords of Draenor. They're, they weren't green either. They were orange. They got turned green because they drank some blood from a demon and made them hell raising motherfuckers. They were actually quite peaceful. The orcs sound metal as fuck. No, the, the orcs, the orcs used to be peaceful. They used to be. How? They have an underbite. That just shows you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I should jump in the work. I told you, game. Matt, you shouldn't judge Gutsman by his cover. She's got an underbite. <laughs> but the, I mean, the orcs. That. Trust me, I if I honestly were to pick the most popular race in that game would be the orcs. Of course. So if you want to be fucking, if pandas. you want to be stupid and say <laughs> humans, fine. But no, orcs. The fucking pandas. No, they're they're like so not. They're do like by the least. Do you count orcs as human? Because they are technically. 
Count what? Worgens is the wolf guys. Is he werewolves? Well, they have their own little sides. Like, see things like that. Like the like the core people, and I won't go into this much. Mm. But the core races is dwarfs, orcs, trolls, elf, 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 elf. Like night they, elf, they no, they weren't even night elves before that. Oh, okay. Like the, the the there was high elves. The blood elves are the used to be high elves that that got infected with the sunwell. Holy shit! There is just so much stuff. Like I can't wait to watch the movie because they're gonna go into like. I have. I do not have high hopes for that movie. Oh, I think I it's just, gonna be I great. I just got like a bad feeling. Like it could be. There was leaked have footage. Seen, have you seen some of the the footage? The graphics look yeah, really good. I, no, like the the pictures. Like they showed. No, the, the pictures look, look good. There was leaked footage. Good. I will see. The that special movie. effects look really good. Like, I'll, 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 because I'll, they do have slore to tell a great story. If it gets good review, I'll review. I'll watch it. If not, I'll like wait for it to come out. Yeah. No. I just, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I don't trust. Oh, I definitely I don't say video, video games. games. South, yeah, yeah, video game movies don't. But also. this is one where it's like, don't say you don't have shit to go off of. Because you got like eight, nine books on stuff that you yeah. could write about. Yeah, there's, there's a there's million, more books. millions of main character possibilities. <laughs> millions. I mean, you Don't could, they already have the main character, though? Th- that's just it. There are so many. You, there's not no, just I mean, one. in the movie. I don't know. Oh, okay. I think... I'm hearing that it's about, and if anyone knows, tell me. I'm thinking it's supposed to go back way whenever, like, I think they're doing it from the beginning. I don't think it'd be, I don't think it is, because, one, you're not going to have humans, you're not going to have a lot of the races that people want to see. People are going to want to go, because not everyone's read the in-depth war, so I'm thinking they're going to start mid, Mm -hmm. where it's Horde versus Alliance, not before that, where, like, all the shit broke loose, like, so I think it's going to be something like, like, if they were smart... They, they, they would need to make a sequel and make Lich King. Because Lich King is by far the most popular lore story about all that shit. It's really fucking cool. Like, Lich King's story is Isn't fucking he, awesome. Didn't he, like, unite the Horde and Alliance against no, him? No, he's yeah. terrible. He's a bad person. No, but I'm saying, like, they united against him. Because oh, they yeah, him. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. I thought you were saying... No, he was he, a unifier. He's a great I thought you were saying he was, like, freaking bad. Revan. His name in the Lich King with black armor and blue flames coming out of his body. Of course he's a oh, unifier. <laughs> oh, my God. What he did to the... Fr- oh, Sylvanas, he made her his bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, she, Sylvanas. She hates him bad. Yeah, she a should. lot of people hate she him. She should. He, she, he made her his bitch. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all I got. Anyways, else. but yeah. yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Look for our Let's Play videos and everything coming up. Or I will see if these games really are that bad as I remember. They are. I know, but I got to go. Two Worlds Legendary. But You'll see. Thank you, no guys. Dragon. Peace. Peace. Peace.